It's the Muskegon Channel. I am Andy O'Reilly, and we are here today with Denise Brown. Look at that smile on her face. She is excited, and I'm excited because we're here to talk today about a big expansion that's coming to Muskegon, and it's got to do with that Bronco right back there. Yay, Western Michigan University is is doubling their effort, if not more, wouldn't you say? Yes. Doubling and tripling the efforts to let you know that if you're in Muskegon, Western Michigan University is right here for you, and all you have to do is sign up, and you're going to a major university right here in Muskegon. It's all on the campus of MCC. Correct. But this is a big deal for Western coming to Muskegon with a little bit bigger push. Talk about this. Yes. So WMU Muskegon uh, has had a presence here in Muskegon for over 20 years. Is it really now. that long? Yes. So okay. we are really, really proud of that. Um, we've had multiple programs that really um, have a trend with what the need of the community is. Right, right? right. And so we're really proud right now to have uh, two undergrad programs and two graduate programs. Um, like you kind of mentioned earlier, they can do them right here at Muskegon Community College. In addition, we offer flexibility for students to have in-person classes, classes that are online and completely online. So our main campus is in Kalamazoo, but if you are interested in going back to school and completing your education or adding on to a degree that you already have, there is opportunity for you right here in Muskegon to earn your degree from WMU Muskegon. And this is a big deal to me because in and around town, you hear so many times, oh, this got taken away, oh, that got taken away. Yes. This is coming in with a renewed faith in Muskegon. Yes. Western is coming in with a renewed approach, and there's going to be an open house tomorrow. Correct. Which we're going to talk a little bit about here in a second. Mm -hmm. but. One of the things I think people in Muskegon think that they're missing is that major college presence. But it's here, and it's real. Yes. And, I mean, you, you took off. You went to Kalamazoo for a little And i got to tell you, this is a great story with her. <laughs> she took off, went to Kalamazoo for a little while, came back to Muskegon, and you are the kind of people that Muskegon needs because we get a few you know, younger people out. They get an education. They get their feet planted underneath them, and then you come back to give that gift back to other students in Muskegon. That is what we need here in town. Aww. You are a leader. Thank you so See? much, Andy. Yeah, <laughs> That's I what we need. That. Tell me about yeah. your Western experience. All right, so I, yeah, like Andy said, I'm from Muskegon, graduated from Muskegon Heights High School. Yep, go Tigers. Um, yes, go yes. Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was part of Upper Bound, and with Upper Bound, we would visit uh, campus, WMU, every summer. Yep. And having that presence on campus and feel, having a feel for the community and the school, I felt very comfortable going sure, there sure. Um, and it, being a Bronco was just an awesome experience uh, I lived there for like over 10 years and I, I did my, uh, my undergraduate right. degree in addition to my graduate degree there love the community a great feel of diversity yep. when you go to Kalamazoo and when you step on campus lots of resources from faculty experienced faculty um, research institution that really gave me the academic confidence that I needed to to complete my degree. So, and as it worked out, yeah. it worked out that you had a job opportunity to come back to Muskegon. Yes. Come back home. Yes. Be where you're from. Yes. And carry this amazing message that Western is here today to tell you that if you want one of these degrees and you don't want to do the traveling, you don't have to travel any farther than quarter line and Western is going to make it happen for you. Absolutely. T all right, tomorrow's big open house. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. I know he's coming in and it, he's, it's Dr. Dr. McFerrin. Okay. Dr. Farron, I'm sorry. Dr. Farron. Fair, fair, yes. Dr. Farron. He's sorry. coming in and we're going to be talking about supply chain management and deep ports and, and the port of Muskegon, which to me, if if Western's gearing up to start offering classes and start talking about some of this expertise things, mm -hmm. it tells me behind the scenes things are going a lot better in Muskegon than people think. Yes, they So are. that's a great thing. Go Talk Muskegon. about tomorrow. Yes, so tomorrow, um, Wednesday, April 19th, from 3 to 6.30, we are going to be having our spring open house speaker series. Okay. Um, and so we want to invite folks to come in if you're interested in learning about the programs that we offer um, that are online or our students who currently are here in the community and attend Muskegon Community College and want to transfer to Western, 
We'll also have some of our admissions people here to assist with that as well. Now, doc, uh, Dr. Farron is going to come in and talk about um, infrastructure and um, transportation and the benefits that that has for a community and how that is going to impact, have an impact on the port of Muskegon. And yeah. so he'll talk at around 515. Okay. That, that's the time that he will start. Um, and it's really going to be, he's going to give some background, talk about like the history of it, the positive movement that is going on with that. And in addition, open it up for question and answer. So we really wanted to have a community feel Absolutely. to it. Yeah, we want the community to come out and if there are questions or interesting things that they have that they want to hear about the port, then we should be able to help out with that as well. That and facilitate, helped to facilitate that community that conversation. That is really exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you know, I'm not, I'm not one to, to speculate or anything like that. But like I mentioned before, if, if, if a major university in Michigan is going to start focusing a little more on Muskegon mm -hmm. and talking about some of the things that could be coming, yes, chances are they're probably a little closer than we think. Mm -hmm. So that's a big, big deal. It's tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you're down here. They come right to the Stevenson Center? Yeah. Um, well, actually, it's going to be held in the blue and gold room at Mesquite. Oh, yeah. College. That's that other college. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those other two yeah, colors yeah. from that other school, a little <laughs> south. Yeah. Uh, east. <laughs> but you're a delightful guest. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. First of all, thank you for, on behalf of everybody here, for um, Western being a sponsor of yeah. what we do. Absolutely. Thank I think you, that's man. an amazing thing, and I'm going to stand open for you anytime you need to get the word out about something exciting at Western, and as Western's presence grows in Muskegon, we want to be right here carrying the whole thing. Thank you so much, Andy. I appreciate that. Great job, okay. Denise Brown. It's tomorrow at the uh, Blue and Gold Room out here at Muskegon Community College. Come out and learn more what Western's going to do here in Muskegon and find out more about that uh, with the lecture series coming up to find out a little bit more about the port and everything that's going to happen with that right here. Great job. You did great, Denise. Thanks. Thank you so much, Andy. Absolutely. Yeah.